Hey parents, before we start this episode, remember that your family can enjoy hundreds of fun and educational free videos like this one for kids of all ages. Be sure to subscribe to get all the new shows and updates at PragerUKids.com. Welcome to Otto's Tales. I'm Jill, and today we're reading a story about stories. I can't wait. Do you like reading books? I do, but you probably already know that. I Is something funny? Behind me? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Otto Smidge, did you two go to the library again? You did. I had a feeling, oh, those are very good books. Uh, what else did you get? Oh, wow, thank you, Smidge, my glasses. I have a feeling that you two checked out a lot. Any chance that I can see the other books you checked out? <laughs> okay, I'll read them, this story, and in the meantime, you two can go get the other books, because I want to see. <laughs> yeah. Time to read Otto's Tales, Let's Meet a Librarian. How do I look? Smidge showed off her new hat. Ruff, ruff, Otto barked. Dennis pushed a box across the attic floor. We have to organize this for tomorrow's yard sale. I am organizing what I want to keep. Smidge peeked into the new box. Well, there's nothing in here but a bunch of old, boring books, she said. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover, Dennis said. Smidge wrinkled her nose. They smell weird, too. Otto dug through the box. There aren't just books in here. Look! Smidge perked up. Is that a treasure chest? She grabbed the small chest and shook it. Could it be gold? Otto sniffed. Or dog treats? Let's see. Dennis took the chest and turned it over. A handwritten note was taped to the bottom. His eyes lit up with excitement. It's a riddle! To unlock this chest, three symbols you must guess. A tortoise and hare begin their great race, but something distracts the hare from his chase. Silver and gold may be treasures for fools, but this woodcutter wants his trusty tool. A girl goes on a quest to touch something bright, climbing a rainbow to reach special lights. What does that mean? Smidge was confused. Hmm, Dennis tugged on the lock. There are three dials here with symbols and three clues on this paper. If we solve these riddles, maybe we can unlock the mystery. Dennis! Mrs. Prager popped her head into the attic. Almost finished up here? We're setting things up in the yard. Mom, look what we found! I don't remember this. Probably some old game. I'll add it to the sale. Wait! Dennis cried. We want to figure out what's inside. It could be important. <sighs> Mrs. Prager sighed. We have a lot of work to do, dear. If you can't solve it by the end of today, it's going into the sale tomorrow. Otto and Smidge looked at Dennis. One day, that's not enough time. Someone else is going to get my treasure. Smidge pouted. You mean our treasure, Otto corrected. Dennis shook his head. Slow down, you two. We have to focus. The riddles sound like stories, and the best place to find stories is at the library. Trust me, let's go. As they entered the library, Smidge exclaimed, This place is huge! Shh! Readers whispered at them. Remember to use your inside voice, Dennis reminded them. Now follow me. I know a librarian who can help us. Dennis led them to a large desk where a woman with glasses sat. Hello, Dennis. I'm glad to see you, she greeted. Who are your friends? Hi, Mrs. Anderson. This is Otto and Smidge. How can I help you today? Mrs. Anderson asked. Is it another school project? We're on a treasure hunt! Smidge placed the chest on the desk. The librarian read the riddles. How exciting! Can you help us? They asked. 
I'd be happy to guide you in your search, but we'll have to move quickly. The library closes soon. As the librarian led them through the maze of shelves, Smidge asked, Do you ever get bored being surrounded by books all day? <gasps> Never, Mrs. Anderson replied. I love these books. That's why I chose this job. Reading helps us discover new worlds and ideas, and I get to help others find great books every day. That sounds exciting, Otto said. It's really exciting. The librarian stopped at a shelf. Now, let's think about your first clue. A tortoise and hare begin their great race, but something distracts the hare from his chase, Otto remembered. Right, I know an old story about that. The librarian pulled a book of fables from the shelf and handed it to Dennis. Oh, it has pictures! Smidge was delighted. Dennis flipped through the pages. That's it, he said. The tortoise is much slower than the hare. Obviously, the hare is going to win, Smidge said. Maybe not, Dennis answered. In the story, the hare is so far ahead, he thinks there is no way he can lose. He decides to pick fruit and take a nap. This gives the tortoise time to win. Sometimes, slow and steady wins the race, Mrs. Anderson said. I love how stories can surprise us with the things we don't expect. It definitely surprised me, Smidge revealed. Dennis pointed to the chest. The first symbol must be a fruit, since that's what distracted the hare. Smidge turned the first dial until she found a fruit symbol, an apple. One down, two to go. The next clue is, silver and gold may be treasures for fools, but this woodcutter wants his trusty tool, Otto said. Where would we find that story? Mrs. Anderson smiled. Oh, that's a good one. Follow me. How do you know where everything is? Smidge wondered. There must be thousands of books in here. I make sure everything has a place, Mrs. Anderson explained. A library must be organized so people can find books easily. That is why we have different sections to separate books based on their category or genre. Oh, that makes sense, Otto nodded. It will be weird to find science books with fairy tales. Exactly, the librarian agreed and pulled another book off the shelf. The Honest Woodcutter is a favorite of mine. I used to read it when I was about your age. They sat down on some cozy chairs. She began to read. In the story, the woodcutter loses his favorite ax in the river. A fairy appears from the water with a silver ax, wondering if it is his. It is not. She then shows him a gold axe. That is also not mine, he says. Silver and gold! Why couldn't he just pretend it was his? Smidge asked. In the end, his honesty was rewarded with all three axes, the librarian said. The best stories teach us important lessons about life. Otto jumped up. Hey, we know the second clue. His trusty tool was an axe. Smidge clicked the second dial into place. Mrs. Anderson gasped. Oh, my, look at the time. The library closes soon. I'm afraid I can't help you find the last clue. Could you point us in the right direction? Dennis asked. A girl goes on a quest to touch something bright, climbing a rainbow to reach special lights. That stars in the sky, another wonderful story. That's three shelves to your right, second row from the top, Fifth book in, Mrs. Anderson finished. Thank you, the friends rushed off, searching for the last story. When they arrived at the spot, they paused. The slot was empty. Where is it? Smidge panicked. It should be right here. She stood on a stack of books, reaching her paw back as far as it would go. Smidge, be careful, Dennis warned. An announcement echoed through the room. The library closes in five minutes. So, so, Smidge tumbled from the shelf along with several books. Ouch! Otto sighed. Let's hurry and clean this up. We still have to find that book. 
Dennis got an idea. If the story isn't here, someone must have it. They searched row after row and couldn't find anyone holding the book. Then Smidge saw a girl sitting on the ground reading. Hi, Smidge said. What do you have there? The girl smiled. I'm reading Stars in the Sky. It is a story about a girl who wants to touch a star. She goes on a magical quest and finds a rainbow that she must climb to get to the sky. <gasps> the special lights are the stars, Smidge exclaimed. That's the last clue. An announcement echoed. The library is now closed. Please check out all books at the front. Let's go home and open the chest. Otto wagged his tail. Wait! Smidge paused. What happens? Does she ever touch the star? The girl handed Smidge the book. You can find out for yourself. I've already read this ten times. Thank you! Smidge bounced gleefully. On their way out, Mrs. Anderson helped the friends check out Smidge's new book. I see you found something. I also set aside a few more exciting stories for you. Really? Thanks! Smidge beamed, clutching a stack of colorful books. Reading is not so boring after all! I think you may have already found your treasure. Mrs. Anderson's eyes sparkled. I hope you come back soon. I have so many more books to recommend. When they arrived home, Smidge flipped the last dial to the star symbol. Click! The chest sprang open. She turned over the box and dumped old photos out of it. Is this the treasure? Smidge frowned. What's all this? Mrs. Prager asked, entering the room. The answer to our riddles, Dennis explained. We went to the library. The clues were all about books. Mrs. Anderson, the librarian, helped us read stories and learn about new people and places. I can't believe it! Mrs. Prager's eyes turned misty. These are old family pictures. There are even love letters here from my dad to my mom. As Mrs. Prager read the letters, Smidge realized something special. This treasure hunt didn't go the way I expected, but I learned something more important. This treasure isn't mine to take. It belongs to you, Mrs. Prager. Mrs. Anderson would be so excited to hear how our story ended, Dennis said. Please write her a thank you note. I'll sign it too, Mrs. Prager said. We will, the trio agreed. That was my favorite adventure yet, Otto barked. Smidge nudged her friend. You say that every time, Otto. Dennis and Otto spent the rest of the evening setting up for the yard sale, but Smidge couldn't stop reading. She flipped through each page of every book. When she discovered a book titled Treasure Island, her eyes widened and her ears perked up. Dennis grinned at Otto. She does know that book is fiction, right? <laughs> rough, rough. The end. Being a librarian is a great responsibility to share books and stories that bring us all together. And hey, did you recognize the tales that Otto and Smidge were looking for in the library in this story? They were some of the folk tales that I've read to you right here in other episodes. The Tortoise and the Hare, The Honest Woodman, Stars in the Sky, all wonderful stories to enjoy and learn important lessons from. Wow, you two! You checked out all of these books from the library? That's a lot. That's a great stack. I guess we better start reading them now, right? <laughs> Yes. Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and keep appreciating all who serve our communities and America. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.